China has always consistently demonstrated its prowess in space exploration and technological advancements. The nation has achieved remarkable milestones, including landing on the far side of the moon, deploying a rover on Mars, and launching its own space station, Tiangong. Adding to this impressive list, China has now successfully launched the world's most powerful solid propellant rocket. This launch is not just a national triumph, but an international milestone, marking a massive success in the global space arena. A commercial space company has firmly established itself as a formidable contender among its rivals. In today's episode, we cover this historic moment as a private Chinese firm launched the world's most powerful solid fuel rocket. Developed by Orion Space, a commercial startup, Gravity One consists of three solid stages and four boosters. In the fast evolving landscape of global space exploration, the Chinese space program is making headlines once again. Orion Space, a private aerospace enterprise, has achieved a remarkable feat breaking barriers with the launch of the world's most powerful solid fuel rocket from the coast of Haiyang in Shandong province. This significant milestone underscores China's commitment to independent innovation in commercial carrier rockets. Gravity One Rocket Developed by the Chinese commercial aerospace company Orion Space, the medium lift rocket named Gravity One, YL-1, achieved a significant milestone by successfully launching three Yunyao-1 meteorological satellites into orbit. This historic maiden flight took place at 1.30 p.m. Beijing time from waters off the coast of Haiyang City in East China's Shandong province. The Gravity One rocket stands at an impressive height of approximately 30 meters and boasts a takeoff weight of about 400 tons. With a takeoff thrust of 600 tons, it is designed to lift around 6,500 kilograms of payload to low Earth orbit, LEO, or 4,200 kilograms to a 500 kilometer sun synchronous orbit. SSO. This capability allows the rocket to launch multiple satellites, each weighing over 100 kilograms, as well as small cargo spacecraft weighing between 3 to 4 tons. One of the standout features of the Gravity One is its large fairing, the largest in China's commercial aerospace industry. Measuring 4.2 meters in diameter and 9.345 meters in height, this fairing can accommodate a greater number of payloads, including larger ones thus enhancing the rocket's versatility and utility for various space missions. This successful launch marks a significant achievement for Orion Space and underscores China's growing capabilities and ambitions in the commercial aerospace sector. With its advanced design and powerful launch capacity, the Gravity One rocket is poised to play a crucial role in the future of space exploration and satellite deployment. As the world witnesses the ascent of this powerhouse, the Gravity One rocket not only marks a triumph for Chinese space technology, but also hints at the intensifying competition with the United States, where SpaceX currently dominates with nearly 100 reusable rocket launches annually. This achievement is particularly noteworthy given the challenges faced by China's burgeoning private aerospace sector, striving to catch up with giants like SpaceX. While companies like Orion Space are still somewhat smaller in scale compared to their American counterparts. The successful launch of Gravity One signals a new era, challenging the dominance of traditional aerospace players. Imagine a rocket capable of supporting the launch of up to 30 satellites, each weighing 100 kilos. A potential game-changer in the market for batch networking launches, this flexibility positions Gravity One as a key player in the space race with the ability to launch satellites for the Chinese military within 24 hours of receiving a request. Innovative design and China's new role. The raw power of the Gravity One rocket developed by Orion Space is matched by its innovative design. Chief designer Buang Wei highlights cost-saving measures like a white protective cover that maintains the rocket's temperature and shields it from external elements during transport and launch. These innovations not only enhance efficiency, but also exemplify China's commitment to sustainable and cost-effective space exploration. Picture a scenario where the cold depths of space are navigated by rockets powered by methane and solid fuel, a vision now becoming a reality. Orion Space, in a bid to rival SpaceX, aims to achieve liquid rocket recyclability and reusability within two years. 
This move could further reduce costs and increase carrying capacity to 15 to 20 tons, aligning with China's ambitious plan to deploy a constellation of 13,000 satellites, directly challenging SpaceX's Starlink. The need for reliable and cost-effective launch vehicles becomes paramount in this pursuit, positioning Orion Space as a formidable player with its groundbreaking technologies. While discussing this topic, an interesting question arises. Can the Gravity One rocket's success catalyze a paradigm shift in the dynamics of the global space industry, challenging the established order dominated by the United States and its space exploration endeavors? In short, the rocket's versatility in supporting the launch of up to 30 satellites and offering quick turnaround times for military satellite launches challenges the conventional norms set by established players. This success underscores China's commitment to independent innovation and competitive prowess in the commercial carrier rocket sector. As the global space industry witnesses the rise of China's private aerospace enterprises, the triumph of the Gravity One rocket hints at a paradigm shift where traditional powerhouses may face intensified competition. If China continues to innovate and achieve milestones like liquid rocket recyclability, it could reshape the global space industry landscape fostering a new era of multipolar collaboration and competition and challenging the long-standing dominance of the United States. Breakthroughs in China's commercial space sector. The journey of Orion, space and the gravity. One rocket signifies more than just a technological milestone. It embodies China's aspirations to redefine the narrative of space exploration, moving away from the traditional dominance of military and state-owned enterprises. As the company eyes liquid rocket recyclability and reusability, the race for sustainable and economically viable space exploration intensifies. How might the success of Orion Space impact the narrative around China's space program, especially in the context of global collaborations and partnerships in space exploration? In the realm of China's commercial space sector, 2023 has been a year of remarkable breakthroughs, highlighted by a series of successful rocket launches that reflect the industry's rapid advancement. Driven by the need to reduce the high costs traditionally associated with space launches, Chinese private space startups have been actively developing and testing reusable rockets, aligning their efforts with global trends. Early December witnessed a significant milestone for China's commercial space industry with three notable rocket launches. The SQX-2Y, China's first commercial reusable rocket, completed its second test flight marking a significant achievement in the realm of rocket reusability. Developed by iSpace, the SQX-2Y is equipped with a liquid oxygen methane engine, a choice that reduces costs and enables low-altitude return and landing, showcasing mastery over key technologies crucial for reusability. On December 9th, another milestone was reached with the successful launch of the Zhukai-2Y3 carrier rocket. This event marked China's first commercial liquid carrier rocket to achieve successive launches. The Zhukai-2Y3's use of liquid, oxygen and methane as propellants signifies a strategic shift towards more sustainable and cost-effective propulsion methods, underscoring China's commitment to developing medium and large-size liquid rockets. 2023 Milestones and Future Prospects The success of China's commercial space sector is largely attributable to policy support initiated in 2014, which opened the space sector to private investment. This policy shift has given rise to numerous aerospace startups, creating a vibrant and competitive ecosystem. The industry's adoption of methane, a cost-effective and readily available fuel, is exemplified by Landspace's independently developed Zhukai-2. This rocket highlights the feasibility of building reusable rockets, marking a strategic move towards improving the input-output ratio and achieving cost-effectiveness in commercial spaceflight endeavors. Key players like iSpace and Landspace continue to push boundaries, reflecting a broader trend in the global space industry, the quest for recoverable and reusable launch vehicles. The expansion of commercial spaceflight companies with a focus on enhancing efficiency and reducing costs aligns with the growing market demand for satellite launches and related services. These advancements in commercial rocketry are crucial in realizing space programs, with commercial satellite companies being primary customers. The market's preferences and needs drive the research and development efforts of these companies, fostering a symbiotic relationship that propels the industry forward. 
One example of this trend is Guodian Gaoke, a commercial sci-tech firm that has deployed satellites such as Tianqi-21 to 24 aboard the Series 1 rocket. These satellites form part of the Tianqi Low Earth Orbit Internet of Things constellation, highlighting the commercial space industry's role in providing global data services for various applications. The rapid advancements in China's commercial space sector in 2023 underscore a significant shift towards more sustainable, cost-effective, and reusable rocket technologies. As the industry continues to evolve, China's private aerospace enterprises are poised to play an increasingly prominent role in the global space landscape, driven by innovation and strategic policy support. The collaborative efforts of commercial rocket companies, characterized by continuous research, development, and improvement, have led to standardized processes applicable across the industrial chain. This virtuous cycle is driving the popularity of commercial space flights, with the market size surpassing 1 trillion yuan and over 400 registered and effectively operating commercial space enterprises in China. These advancements have culminated in significant achievements, including China launching the world's most powerful solid fuel rocket, sea launch capabilities. Gravity One has three core stages and four boosters, all powered by solid propellant motors and equipped with flexible swinging nozzles, said Orion Space. The company also noted that the third stage motor could be modified to a liquid oxygen and kerosene engine to further enhance its payload capacity. The Gravity One rocket successfully launched from Haiyang in East China's Shandong province on January 11, 2024. Unlike traditional land-based launches, sea launches offer greater flexibility, better adaptability and a lower risk of affecting populated areas. By utilizing a sea launch platform, Orion Space aims to increase the frequency of future launches. With infrastructures located at the Haiyang Oriental Aerospace port, the entire process including general assembly and testing, can be completed within a 5-kilometer radius. This proximity reduces the need for long-distance transportation, shortens the preparation period, and saves costs. China's private space sector is rapidly evolving, with firms emerging to meet the increasing demand for large-scale rocket launches. Limited launch pads and high demand have driven domestic companies to develop more powerful and cost-effective rockets, including recoverable models. Orion Space, for example, is working on the Gravity 2, a medium-lift launch vehicle featuring recoverable core stages, and the Gravity 3, a heavy-lift carrier rocket that will be fully recoverable.